What's going on, fellow cats? Thank you for back to a brand new Roblox video. My name is Creek, and in this video, guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can record for free without any lag with OBS Studio and upload it to YouTube. Obviously, we're here in Roblox, and this works with any game at all. You can do this with any game. But I'm going to be using Roblox Jailbreak here as an example and showing you guys how you can record on your PC for free without any lag. Now, before we hop into this, I do have a few things we need to go over real quick. Number one, you're going to need a computer for this. I mean, obviously, you're going to need a computer because you know how else you're going to record right number two you're going to need a microphone now if you don't have a microphone and you would like to win one for free i am actually going to be giving out like two entire audio setups that you see right here i'm going to be sending these out to two of you guys for free stay tuned for more information on that and then number three you're going to need a face cam and i guess you don't really need a face cam but i feel like you know having one makes the video feel a little bit more personal and just a little bit nicer overall so before i get into the obs studio part and show you guys how I record and how I upload my videos to YouTube and how you guys can do it lag free and for free uh first we need to talk about audio because it's very very important so obviously I've got a pretty sophisticated microphone set up right here thanks to uh fine fine they have sponsored this video so shout out to them and thanks to them I'm also going to be giving away two entire audio setups here for free to you guys no that includes the microphone itself it includes the mic arm it includes the pop filter it includes a second pop filter it includes the shock mount literally everything you need for a professional looking live stream video whatever you need audio it's gonna be great now why is audio important let me tell you why audio is important okay your video quality can be a little stinky it can be a little bit blurry but if your audio sounds like this <laughs> Then nobody's gonna want to watch your video right because it's gonna hurt their eardrums and their parents are gonna be like no 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 turn that off man turn that off little timmy i can't have it on it's too loud so let me show you guys how to set up your audio in a professional manner let's hop into this all right hello we have switched on over to my my mobile camera here so i can show you guys how to set up your audio here and to show off this new fine fine microphone right here so like i said two of you guys will be winning this entire setup that you see right here for free we'll be sending it to your house details on how to win that here in a bit but let me let me go over this real quick so we have right here this is the mic arm now why would you want to have a mic arm that attaches to your desk well first off if you have a desk and you want to stand up you know it's a standing desk you can do that but the the main reason is if your microphone let's imagine this g fuel cup is your microphone right and it's sitting on your desk and your desk like vibrates or something well then your microphone's gonna vibrate and your audio is not gonna sound that great so that's why you want to have your microphone preferably on a mic arm now what is this this thing right here you might ask what is this this little circle penny hosey thingy you, you might see them like this or you might also see them like this both of these are a pop filter they do the exact same thing one is just slightly different than the other now what these do is they go in front of the microphone to stop you from while well, spinning into your microphone or making any loud like popping noises so if you ever watch anyone and they have like some really loud like air popping noises it's because they don't have one of these so if you don't want to use one of that or one like that you can obviously grab one like this you might have seen this at like church or like a preacher or somebody using it. it just goes on your microphone and boom there you go works just like that easy peasy no i'm just gonna take it off here for the sake of this video because i'm gonna be using the one that's attached to the actual mic arm i'm using this one right here it just goes right on down there in front of the microphone and then for the microphone and the shock mount now this right here is called a shock mount now what it does is pretty much what it sounds like it stops the shocks from getting to your microphone so if you bump it or anything like that this is going to stop it from vibrating through your microphone and that's why having one of these is important now for the actual microphone this is a i'll throw it up on screen uh so you guys can see but you have a little volume button here you can turn the microphone up and down i'm going to leave it right there because you know it sounds good for my voice and then obviously this just runs straight to your computer via usb little little cable right here and that is how you do a professional microphone audio setup now like i mentioned shout out to fine fine for uh sponsoring this video and letting me send out two of these microphones to you guys the entire audio setup if you guys would like to win this setup all you got to do is do what's on the screen okay do what's on the screen and you guys can win this entire microphone setup for free i'll also have links down in the description and in the pinned comments so you guys can get some some awesome microphones and hey if this does good maybe we'll do some more in the future but okay you got your microphone you got your audio setup how do you record now obviously roblox has a built-in recorder here 
but I mean, let's be honest, it's not really that great. Um, I'll just show you guys the quality here of this. It's not too good. This is it right here. This is the Roblox recorder. You can see it, uh, it does not look good at all. This is it's terrible. So how do you record Roblox lag free for free and upload it to YouTube? Well, what you want to do, you want to go on over to Google and you want to search up. You want to search up OBS Studio, okay? And it's going to be the first one, OBS Open Broadcaster Software. Now, I'm going to go ahead and download this program for Windows. It's completely free. I have Windows, so I'm going to, I'm going to download it and install it for Windows. So once you, you know, have it downloaded, you're going to go ahead and you are going to install it real quick. You're going to go through this installer, click Agree, Next, Install, all of that. Now, when you open it up, yours is not going to look like this. You're not going to have a face cam here. The gameplay is not going to be there. And it's probably going to ask you if you want to use like recommended settings. And, and that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you guys how you can make it look like this and record. So this is how I, you know, record my videos. Obviously, it's a little bit more sophisticated, but this is the general idea. But first, what we want to do, let's just go ahead. Let's just delete all this. Doesn't matter. This is what yours is going to look like. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to file and you want to go to settings. Okay, and we're going to modify a bunch of settings here. No, don't worry about anything in general. First thing you want to do is go to the output section. Okay, this is the output section. Now, at first, it's going to look like this. It's going to say output mode simple. You want to change this to advanced. Okay, and it's going to look very complicated, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll explain what happened. So then you want to go to the recording tab right here, the recording tab. Okay, and this is where things get a little crazy. So the type, don't worry about the type. Okay, now the recording path, this is where your videos are going to be saved. Okay, so I went ahead and chose my my second hard drive here that I have for recording videos. If you don't have a second hard drive, that's fine. You can just put it anywhere. You can record it to your desktop, you can record it to your documents. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put it on my second hard drive. If you do have a second hard drive, it performs a little bit better in most cases, but it, it's really up to what you have. So once you have that saved there, what you want to do is you want to go to recording format. You want to change this to MP4. This is what YouTube likes your videos to be in. Audio tracks, don't worry about it. Now the encoder, this is the important part, okay? This is what's going to make your video look good and or make your computer lag if you do it wrong. So you can see I have uh, I have basically two options here. I have NVENC, all right, H.264, and I have X. 264. Now, if you have NVENC, NVIDIA NVENC, use that. It's the best. It's what I use. But if you don't have that, then use X264. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, and just to make sure everyone can follow along, I'm just going to use X264. But like I said, if you have NVNC, then use that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use X264. Now, rescale output and custom mixer uh, settings. Don't worry about that. Rate control, leave it at CBR. Now, the bit rate. This is what's going to make your, uh, you know, it's going to determine how good your video looks and how it performs. So basically, how bit rate works is the high higher this number is, the better quality your video is, you know, the, the clearer it is, the crisper the image is, but the larger the file size it is and the more resources it, it makes your computer take. So basically what you want to do here, I do believe by default it's at 2500 kbps and that is okay. You can leave it at this and play around with it. So what I recommend doing is recording with it at 2500. If it lags, then bump it down to maybe, you know, like maybe 2000. Okay. If it doesn't lag, maybe maybe bump it up to 3,000 or 4,000 or 5,000. And basically what you want to do is you want to bump this up to uh, just enough where the video looks good, but it also doesn't make your computer lag. Now for me, that number is 9,000, okay? It's going to differ for you. I obviously have a pretty good computer, um, but if you don't, maybe 3,000 works for you or maybe 4,000 and that's okay. Now all this other stuff here, don't worry about it. It's not important. Just click apply and we're going to move on to the audio. Now for the audio, you don't have to touch anything but these two settings, the desktop audio and the microphone auxiliary audio. So desktop audio, you want to leave it at default. This is going to capture your game sound. And then mic audio, you're going to want to choose whatever microphone you're using or want to use. I'm just going to leave it at default because that works for me, but you can choose your microphone there and then obviously click apply and you're good to go. Now, finally, we're going to go to video. Now, this is where this determines the resolution and the frame rate of your video. So obviously I record at 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. 
and that's what I recommend choosing here. Now, if your computer lags or if your, your videos, uh, you know, lag your computer and it's a little bit choppy, you can lower this resolution down to 1280 by 720, which is 720p. It'll still look really good, but it, the, it just won't take as, you know, a good of a computer or as much resources on your computer to actually record the video. And it'll be a smaller file size. But I'm going to leave this at 1920 by 1080. And then the downscale filter, I'm going to choose the bottom one, Langzos, sharpen scaling 36 samples. Now the FPS here, you want to put it to either 30 or 60. Okay, now if your computer doesn't lag and you want the absolute best quality, change it to 60. If your videos are recording your and you know you're recording your videos are lagging your computer a bit, drop it down to 30. I record at 60 though, so I'm just gonna leave it at 60 and I'm going to hit apply. Click OK and boom, the settings are done. Now we can work on actually, you know, putting the game in the OBS. So in order to do this, you're gonna go down the so uh, sources here, and it's actually very simple. You right click it, you click add, and then you go to game capture. All right, and we're just gonna name this Roblox blocks and I'm going to click OK. And then for mode right here, I'm going to choose capture specific window. It's the middle one. And then for the window, I'm going to choose Roblox. And boom, there it is. There's Roblox right there in the background. You can see it. You can move it around. You can drag it around. You can resize it if you want to. There it is. If you right click it and go to transform and then fit the screen, it'll fit to your OBS screen. So that way there's no black bars or anything. It's what I do. And that's it. You can click start recording, start recording, and you're good to go. But there's another thing you can do. What about the webcam? So in order to add a webcam, you want to go to sources, you want to go to add, and you want to go go to video capture device. All right, and I'm just going to call this face cam. Now here you want to choose your face cam. Mine is the Logitech Brio. You want to choose that. It's going to show up right there. There I am. And that's it. I'm just going to click apply and same thing. I can drag it around. I can right click it and fit the screen if I want to. And there I am right there. Or I can, you know, uh, control R resets it to default, by the way, control R. And then you can move it around. So we're just going to put this right there. So it's not in the way of anything. Maybe scale it down a little bit and boom, there we go. So now we can record our video. Now what I recommend doing is going back to settings and going to hotkeys. And then there's going to be two options, start recording and stop recording. All right, set this hotkey. I'm just going to put it to the tilde key. It's right next to the one key. So that way, whenever I push that button in the game, it'll start and stop the recording. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the game. Okay. All right. And I'm going to, I'm going to push that key. All right, there we go. I should now be recording on OBS. So I'm just going to run around a little bit, make sure the game's not lagging. Everything looks good. Everything's performing good. Fantastic. Make sure we get the sun in there for epic, awesome videos. And then when I'm done recording, I'm just going to hit the tilde key again. And then if we go back to OBS, you can see it's not recording. So let's let's look at the at the video. Let's see how good it is. All right, so here it is right here. Here's my video. Ignore all the other ones. And I'm just going to mute this very quickly because I don't want my my you know microphone in there. But there it is. There's the video and you know what that that looks pretty good to me i, I like it i could maybe raise the bit rate up a, a, a little tiny bit but i mean hey i think that looks pretty good it's not laggy it looks looks smooth and everything looks good to me guys so now what i can do i can rename this to epic roblox video and i can upload that straight to youtube obviously you want to you know do your intro like what's going on and you know i'll see you guys later all that stuff but there you go that's how you do it and yeah that's basically it for this video hopefully it helped you guys out hopefully you now know how to record roblox lag free on your computer if you guys would like to win this entire audio setup for free i'm going to be sending it out to two of you guys all you got to do is basically what's on screen you know do those things get yourself an epic audio setup for free huge thanks to fine fine for you know sponsoring this video uh hopefully we can do some more in the future give us some more audio setups to you guys make sure you guys are subscribed with that bell icon clicked and obviously use star code real creep when buying your robux or your premium helps me out and lets me buy a lot of robux cards to give out to you guys and do even more giveaways like this so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button on the way out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.